Hi guys, it's me Joshua once again. Of course you know who I am, but more importantly, I got my friend Nainto is here. He's back once again, hitting up a dual com with me. And today, the special topic we're going to be talking about is, of course, Battlefield 4, which is no surprise, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so, specifically, we're just going to talk about some main points on the Battlefield 4 multiplayer details and or other details if we feel like we need to. Because it's our commentary, you know? <laughs> Um, so, Nine Toes, tell me just quickly, what is your favorite part about what we know so far? What I took away from, you know, last week's um, uh, E3, there was a lot of information that was, you know, being dished out, and I am probably most excited about the usefulness, once again, of the uh, the recon class. Uh, it just seemed in, in Battlefield 3, the, the recon class was just, it, it really didn't have much of anything uh you know you couldn't you couldn't uh you know deal with a tank like you could in bad company 2 as an example with c4 uh so the recon class is going to finally get uh motion balls once again so you are able to spot enemies on the go as opposed to just you know posting up and sipping on camp sauce in one spot with a tug or a mav uh as it is currently now with battlefield 3 uh and you also will be able to equip c4 once again and that c4 will be tossable um like it was in the bad company two days so th to me yeah that to me is is what i took away as the most exciting um from last week's e3 uh stream certainly and there's just tons of information out there and you know if you don't like one thing i'm sure something else is going to get you excited about it i mean i'm mm -hmm. sure everybody's you know pretty excited about this entire thing i know there's some specific details that i liked more than others like of course the destruction i think the destruction is just going to be amazing and you know if it plays out like what they're kind of playing it up to be i think it's going to be interesting in how dynamic the maps can be versus you know battlefield 3 whereas like there was a lot of destructible things but it had it limit it had its limits yes. whereas on battlefield 4 it seems like you can just turn everything into rubble if you wanted it to you know, within reason, of course. And I think that's going to be interesting. No, without a doubt. And you know what? Playing with a couple of, like, some diehard ba uh, Battlefield fans, um, I remember, as a matter of fact, almost like a month after the launch of Battlefield 3, uh, one of my very good buddies, as a matter of fact, you know, was a little disappointed. He made a comment that, uh, hey, Bad Company 2, you were able to actually level, you know, damn near every building, you know, in a map, uh, should you actually want to. And you didn't actually have that in Battlefield 3 and I was a little resistant at first but then when he actually pointed out like you know what was what could be done and what couldn't be done I was like you know what you're right he he and he really was you know pretty spot on take a look at for example Sand Crossing or you know any one of the uh, the the vanilla original vanilla maps uh, in Battlefield 3 and you'll see it for yourself that um, you don't have that level of destructibility uh, in Battlefield 4 and it had I think a lot to do with the whole memory thing uh, that yeah uh, it was a memory were, limitation yeah and, and not to mention also a networking thing uh, as well too with you know when, when playing on multiplayer because you have to on a console with low memory each console having you know very little memory uh, per console what was it 256 meg per console hmm. or half a gig or something like that is something really ridiculously low uh, to render out that times 24 because remember you've got 12 players per side it has to be obviously done server side um you know to to uh, you know kind of farm out that information you know so that everyone can kind of see the destructibility so you had it in bad company too um but y it was a lot more in, in battlefield 3 and it's back so i'm definitely you know excited about that too the destructibility um yes and of course I think one of the things that caught my attention with one of the multiplayer reveals or you know if there's more than one i haven't mm -hmm got every detail just yet mm -hmm. haven't soaked it up but was the watercraft that you can use like you oh. know skis and um and the boat the, like the mm -hmm. stealth looking boat i guess you could say <laughs> yeah um but i think those would be interesting to come back to some more water-based you know infantry attacks you know battles um i think that'd be really interesting and of course the fact that the next gen's rolling in so i think um, I'm not sure if Battlefield 4 is going to be a launch day title for Xbox One, but it's going to be close. If not, I you know you can see me how I'm kind of lacking the information here. Yeah. But I'm I'm definitely going to get it for Battlefield um Battlefield 4 for the Xbox One, and I'm going to get the PlayStation 4 as well. So I'm probably going to end up having it for you know those two consoles at least, and then I'm going to try to jump into PC gaming as well with it. So 
we're talking you know you know multiple platform <laughs> platforms with me um but what about you nine toes you think you're going to get into some pc gaming or any other platforms besides you know your trusty playstation side yeah i i, I definitely have i'm sure as you know and and some of uh you know anyone else who has been listening to me for any period of time knows that you know i've been uh, a PlayStation fan uh, for a very long time. I definitely will be picking up a PlayStation 4 day one. From what I understand and gather, Battlefield 4 uh, will be... Should be available, yeah. Well, I think it's going to be available first as the as a game. Uh, so in other words, you can I could actually hold a physical copy on October, what is it, the 27th is the launch date. Uh, I can hold a physical copy of a, of a PlayStation 4 Battlefield 4 game disc, but the actual console itself, as of the time we're recording this, we're not sure of the launch date of the console, but I, I got to almost have to assume it won't be until the, the towards the latter part of November um, when each of the consoles are going to be pushed out uh, onto the street. So there may be that one month lag where you, you won't be able to play. And if that's what it is, that's what it is. But to answer your question more specifically, I may actually dip my toe into some, some PC gaming. So I'm a Mac guy. I kind of have been for, for the last uh, handful of years. And uh, so all of my hardware is, is all Macintosh, uh, really more for work stuff and, and the video stuff that I do. Um, but what uh, what I wouldn't definitely mind doing is picking up, now that the prices are, are, are getting a little more attractive, is, is picking up a, uh, a, a like a gamer laptop or, or a... Something that has obviously some 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 higher specs uh, specifically for gaming, but in a laptop form factor. Since I don't really have the real estate on a desk to to give up for a tower. <laughs> Certainly, and I think it's awesome because if you know you're definitely gonna play PlayStation Four, and if I'm gonna play PlayStation Four, we're gonna tear some shit up. I think for the first time, yeah. There's and there's you won't be the only one. Uh, it is it's it's actually kind of exciting because I know a lot of hardcore xbox you know guys uh i i, I want to say because of and again i'm not picking sides I, i'm not trying to you know be that guy we've all heard that you know what happened obviously but uh i i do know a lot of uh, xbox buddies that uh are saying i'm gonna ditch the xbox i'm going with the ps4 uh and you know which is really cool you know cool news because i have never been able to play with them uh because of the differences in platform so for for the first time um you know i think that uh, i'll be able to you know to play and, and and again it's 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 hey it'll be good times i think it'll be really fun to play with a lot of these guys that i've i've either either talked with worked with or what have you uh you know in the last handful of years and the only thing the reason why we were separated was because of platform so i think it'll be cool <laughs> certainly and it should be good um guys i think that's about all we got for today you know you're going to be seeing a lot more videos from me and good sir nine toes here in the near future so doubt. just keep an eye <laughs> yeah without a doubt um so just keep an eye out for that um would you like to say anything before you go nine toes no just other otherwise just you know what support josh here he does put out excellent content so if you guys like favorite thumbs up subscribe facebook you know whatever put up the bat signal whatever it takes <laughs> help help him out you know definitely you know whatever you like about you know his videos you know put them down below in the comments if you don't like me put it in the comments down below as well too but why wouldn't you <laughs> um, well, thank you very much. And guys, just thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.